handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Brighton Racecourse here on Tuesday. It is the 23rd of May 2023. Good luck the fourth race to 353, but before I get on to that, Remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Let's look at the fourth race of 353, which is the John Price Handicap. It's Class 5 Handicap going for a $10,500 purse. Races for four year olds and upwards. Horses rate 51 to 70. Seven horses are going 2,400 meters or the distance of ground of about a mile and a half on the turf course. I'm going to take the three horse Al Azar as a top selection. Let's go 372 in your Tri Cash Trifecta. 372 Tri Cash trifecta top selection three horse al azar four year old by invisible spirit um dane o'neill's on this one for marcus Tregong. um the horse's most recent out again the fourth of may which was uh you know, just over three weeks ago or just under three weeks ago um at salisbury a mile and a half in a class four handicap and he finished third by one and a quarter lengths that day he went up to a class four that day he had blinkers on it forward him that day he had a decent turn of foot but the two in front of him were much better coming here off the bench you know, second off the bench, it should be a lot fresher to a class five, not the world's toughest race. I think they could get him finally the, to the winner circle again. They've been going down in class as race goes on, uh, you know, as he has been going on in the C, as in, in his career. And he's just, you know, he's improving down to a class five. I think he's going to find the right spot to win. Two back in a class five apprentice handicap, a Pontefract, a mile and a half soft ground the 11th of September. He finished seven by 16 lengths. I don't think he really liked the soft going that day. His wheels are spinning. He never got a good handle of it. It wasn't the day to win and then at Kempton on the 2nd of November a mile and a half in a class 4 the horse finished 8th by 20 lengths that day and was on the inside and was just never comfortable that day. A very tough Class 4 in the poly track that afternoon. And then a Wolverhampton 17th of October in a Class 5 handicap. Very wide that day. Never got good position. Finishing 6 by 3 and a quarter lengths. That cost him that day. And then a Salisbury at mile 3 quarters in a Class 4 handicap. Then stay the extra 2 furlongs. Finishing 8th by 3 and a half lengths. And then they ran him at Ascot against some very tough horses in that Class 4. A Class 4 at Ascot could be a Class um, you know 2 here locally. He's way down the class ladder with the relief here he could definitely stay the trip i'm going to use him on the quad pot this is the second leg of the quad pot so i'm going to use him there along with the seven horse seattle king for josephine gordon uh, most recently was a winner here at brighton uh, over the mile and a quarter on the third of may in a class six handicap ran the day prior also so it was on the day refreshing one by one a quarter lengths and he quickened up nicely an all-around good race a day prior at brighton which you don't see very often mile and a half in a class six handicap the horse finished fourth by five and a quarter lengths I had a very wide trip which cost her that day um and then prior to that in April here at Brighton, Monocord in Class 6, winning by a half a length. She stayed the trip well. Coming here back off the little bit of a break, considered to her last race where she ran 24 hours later, I think she got the job done. Let's use her on the ticket. But to recap my selection for 353, the fourth race from Brighton, gonna take the three horse Al Azar, give kudos to the seven horse Seattle King, 372 Tri Cash Trifecta, 37 in your quad pod. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.